Well, what a turbulent year it has been in the financial markets, caused by various characters such as Rocket Man, Tariff Man, and of course, Thieving Bank Man. Today alone, superannuation trustee, irony, IOOF is down 30% due to senior management having a conflict of interest. Alarm bells should have rung from the outset. IOOF stands for Independent Order of Odd Fellows. Now that's serious. In sporting news, the NRL continues to work hard to maintain its profile during its off-season, with spats between coaches and, of course, the regular domestic violence. Australian cricketers reserve their right to play aggressively and badly, and reminiscent of the South African cricket team during apartheid, Oahu has been banned from playing in most countries around the world, with Japan being the latest. This follows the arrest of its CFO in Canada overnight for match-fixing in Iran. In political news, the Mueller investigation into Russian influence into the 2016 US election is drawing to a close. The investigation has seen more political resignations than the new Northern Beaches Hospital. Robert Mueller has been compared to Elliot Ness and Trump to Al Capone. One cheated on his taxes and the other on his wives. Taxes, financial reports, bedroom prowess, let's just say he cheated. In political news closer to home, it's becoming more and more difficult to report on politics as a journalist. The term the government is now interchangeable with the opposition. We now cross to opposition spokesperson, Liberal MP Craig Kelly, at a Children's Gymnastics Awards Day in his southern Sydney seat. Little Julia Smith. Bloody amazing job, the best at poll voting. Fucking amazing. Let's face it. Kids, you're an amazing pack of little cunts.